Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name's Lucy, if you're not aware. Um, yeah. Hello. So, honestly, I should not be let loose in supermarkets. It's just ridiculous. And my batch is about to die. Bear with. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you a few little bits and bobs that I brought from Tesco. I didn't go mad because, you know, I'm I'm trying to be better. I, I need reining in when I go to a supermarket. It's really frustrating. I just get so carried away. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah, I'm just horrendous. So I just got a few little bits and I thought, why not show you? So I mainly got most of my things from Tesco and then there's literally like one or two things from Aldi. So... I'll start off with these bird's eye um, frozen section things. So these are some meat-free chicken pies. So it's like chicken and veg pies basically, but obviously not real chicken. These look really, really good actually. I um, wanted to try a different kind of pie to the pucker ones that we've had before, so we thought we'd give them a shout. And then just cause why not, who doesn't love a good chicken nugget? I bought these, obviously, chicken-free nuggets. These are really cool, actually. Oh, and it says to give them, like, a try in, like, a wrap, almost like fajitari. That is a great shout. So, yeah. So, I'd give them a try. Next up in the frozen section. So excited about these. Deliciously Ella fudge chocolate brownies. And... Deliciously Ella chocolate chip cookies. I've seen these on our Instagram um, a few times and I've thought, oh, they sound really cool. But I thought they were only available in like Waitrose. So when I saw these today, I was like, going to give them a try. They are quite expensive. However, just for like one try, see if they're worth it. And then I think they might have been on like the club card, you know, like the club card points bit where it's, they're cheaper if you've got a club card. I think it might have been on that. So yeah, I thought I'd give them a try. They sound really nice. Next up, I brought some Alpro Custard. Jade brought some apple crumble things from Morrison's the other day and she won't eat them until she's got some custard. Um, so I thought I'd pick her up some of that, um, see what that's like. Next up, I brought this. If you can see it, yeah. So this is the Califia Calif brand. It is cold brew mocha coffee with almond. I, I love cold coffee. Um, I never really have mochas, but I thought I'd give this a try actually. And whilst I was waiting for my batteries to charge, I did actually try a little bit and it is so nice. It mainly tastes like a chocolate milkshake, but with like a hint of coffee. It's really, really good. I'd definitely recommend trying that if you like coffee and or chocolate milkshake. Um, next up, some Bonville Fingers. In my opinion, you just don't get enough in these packs. It is super upsetting. Like, I need, I need a good, like, double-decker pack of these for sure. And then, these Jumbo Packs. Look at these. And I've seen a pack of Jammy Dodgers so wide. Obviously, brought two. Because I've never seen one before and I got really excited. So, I thought, let's get two. Don't know when I'm going to go to that Tesco again. Because this wasn't my local Tesco. Because I went to the dentist. I popped the Tesco close to my dentist. And this one was way better than our closest one. However, still not great. You know, all the wicked brand stuff that I've seen on like, Instagram and things like that, they just had none of it, none of it, so I was super disappointed actually, like where am I going to find these things, I don't know, help me out guys, next up brought some more of these, these were a little bit cheaper than they were in Morrison's, Jade really enjoyed them, so I thought I'd treat it to them again, I brought some Oreos, these are still I think the original, yeah, still the original Oreos, but they were designed by Lady Gaga, <laughs> Honestly, I'm a sucker for packaging. I was like, Lady Gaga inspired Oreo packaging. Sign me up. 
and they were 50p on like the club cards points thing so i was like Meh. so yeah i literally i'm like the i am i play into these marketing people's pockets to be honest because i saw that and i was like there was them ones in the normal pack and i was like obviously the lady gaga pack come on um we needed some more butter and that brand that we've been having let me just grab it we absolutely love it like it just tastes like normal butter to us it's the naturally one and i got this from sainsbury's um at the start of the at the start of january morrison's don't do it and now i found tesco don't do it it's literally i think a sainsbury's brand or just in Sainsbury's at the minute which is really annoying but we needed some new butter so i brought this one this is the floral plant based butter gary is at the door um so yeah i've not tried this one see what it's like i guess can't imagine it's too dissimilar to normal butter to be fair and then next up oh my goodness these are just in my opinion underrated coconut macaroons with chocolate on and i saw they had they had gluten-free ones i was like oh i don't want gluten-free ones like i want like vegan ones because i've only ever seen the gluten-free ones and then i looked a little bit more along the shelf and i saw these ones and that big fat vegan packaging sign right there i was like yep straight in my basket they were quite expensive but like i said i just really wanted to try them see if they are much different they look exactly the same and i know jade loves a good um chocolate coconut macaroon as well so can't wait to give that a try next up i saw these i've seen these on her instagram as well these are the deliciously ella baked veggie crackers so these are sea salt black pepper and olive oil and i just brought myself some hummus and i just love a good crisp or cracker to dunk in some hummus so i thought i'd give these a try most of her products are more on the expensive side but i just wanted to give them a try i feel like they're so good because she like puts so much into it and her packaging is really cute as well i'm a sucker for packaging and they got me next up some more of this if you haven't tried this yet get on it because it is so nice so nice yeah definitely give this a try if you haven't already smells insane and it's quite smoky i'm not a smoky bacon fan like before i was vegan i'd never liked smoked bacon but this is really good actually give this a try guys that's mostly it for my tesco shop i did buy this however for jade from tesco this is a buttermilk Zingy orange crisp Easter egg. So I thought I'll give that a try. It says on the back it's great for vegans, palm oil free, plastic free, dairy free, gluten free, natural ingredients, compostable. I was like, whoa. Is there anything even in it? Like, don't know. So yeah, I thought I'd give this thought I'd give this to Jade, see how she likes it. Anything chocolate orange, she is game. So yeah, that's my main of my Tesco stuff. So now I'll just show you literally the couple bits I brought up from Aldi. I literally nipped in for some hummus. Because I forgot my hummus. I brought everything to dip in my hummus, but not the hummus. So I nipped to Aldi to get some hummus. And picked up these no pork sausage rolls. I love a good sausage roll, so I thought I'd give them a try. Seasoned mushroom mints wrapped in golden puff pastry i love sausage rolls oh from tesco how could i forget literally the best thing about this time of year hot cross buns i just i'm obsessed i feel like i could eat hot cross buns breakfast lunch tea dinner whatever it is i love a good hot cross bun and these are massive as well look at them next to my hand i'm like yes love that so yeah sorry just quick tapping it back to tesco back to aldi picked up some more of these because jade absolutely loved these and they are just really nice to keep in if you fancy a bit of a pudding these chocolate melt in the middle ones 
I have tried the caramel ones, did really enjoy them, but you just whoop, you just can't go wrong with cho uh, chocolate, can you really? So I picked them up. And then I saw these at the tillers I was paying, some veggie straws. These are like more of a kiddie thing, but I have had these before and I love them. They're just so simple but so effective, like a good hummus dunker again. Yeah, these are really, really nice. They're like, um, yeah, kale, tomato and spinach. So each one's either kale, tomato or spinach flavoured. They're just really good. And picked up two Easter eggs. I actually met my mum in Aldi. She happened to be there as well. And um, we walked around separately. I didn't walk around with her or anything like that, but she did want to buy me an Easter egg. She hasn't seen us in a while and I thought, I want to buy you an Easter egg. So I chose this one for Jade. This is the Moo Free Cheeky Orange Egg. Bit of a thing going on here. I'm sorry, Jade, if you don't like chocolate orange anymore. So yeah, I thought we'd try the Moo Free brand. So I bought this one for Jade. And then I thought I'd give just the normal Aldi version a try. So this is their Dairy Fine brand. So this is just the normal chocolate egg. Um, so yeah, we thought we'd kind of compare because if you actually look closely at the eggs, I don't know if it will show you or not. If you look closely, it's almost like a wood effect and they're actually both the same. So it really wouldn't surprise me if they're both made in the same factory um, but just packaged differently because I know a lot of supermarkets do do that. So you'll find that like a lot of, for example, let's just say Rice Krispies. The Rice Krispies in Tesco own brand Rice Krispies and the actual Rice Krispie brand are probably exactly the same. It's just literally you're paying for the brand. I'm not saying that's the case in everything, but I know that it is in a few things. So yeah, I thought we'd compare them, see what the chocolate's like, because it can be a bit grainy. But yeah, I think we just did pretty well there for a little unexpected haul. Yeah. Check me out. Hope this has helped anybody. And that's me really. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little mini haul and it is literally just a little mini haul. Didn't even mean to go in for this much. The one thing I did need, which was Soya Barista, they didn't have. And obviously Aldi don't have it either. So, I actually need to go out again tomorrow or at some point to get some Soya Barista milk because Jay doesn't have any milk. They did, however, have my Oatly milk. The Oatly Barista milk was reduced. I think something had maybe like spilled on a load of that, maybe like a box of their milks. So they'd reduced them to like 72p. So I literally came home, gave them all a wipe, put them in the cupboard. I brought four for 72p. Amazing. Um. But yeah, don't like go rushing to Tesco thinking that your Tesco will have them because I do think it was just a one-off, like we may have spilled something on it, so we'll reduce some kind of thing. So yeah, that was like a small win for the day. But then they didn't have the soy barista, so. You win some, you lose some, hey? What can you do? But yeah, that is everything. So yeah, if you've enjoyed, give this video a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Thank you. See you later.